Good morning, and welcome to day two of our devotional series entitled Intentional. In this devotional series, we're looking at some questions about being intentional in our faith. So before we start today, let me just open in a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity we have to meet together, and I just ask that it would be your words, Lord, that reach our hearts today. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Today's intentional question that we're going to look at is, what is the purpose of the church? Now, in just a minute, we're going to look at the book of 1 Peter, but I'll give you a tiny bit of context of the book of 1 Peter. Uh, 1 Peter is a book in the New Testament of the Bible, and it was written by the Apostle Peter. Peter was one of Jesus' 12 disciples, and Peter wrote this book to Christians that had been scattered all over the place, lots of different regions, due to persecution against their faith in Jesus. And so the main purpose of this book of the Bible was to encourage those believers who were going through very difficult times. In terms of where this fits in with the Jesus storyline in the Bible, this is after Jesus' life, death, resurrection, and ascension to heaven, and this was about A.D. 65, and during this time, uh, the message of Jesus had spread dramatically, and uh, at this point was considered a threat to the Roman Empire, uh, so much so that the Romans were actively persecuting Christians all over the place. So with that in mind, let's look at 1 Peter 2, verses 9 and 10. And it says, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, But you are not like that, speaking about people who stumble because they do not obey God's word. But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God. For he called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you had no identity as people, now you are God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. So, in here, Peter tells us that collectively, us as a church collectively, are a holy nation and royal priests. And he says that because of that, we are able to accomplish the purpose of the church, which is to show God's goodness to the world. So if we just look at the words he used, the, the royal priests, basically their job is to tell people about God. A holy nation kind of refers to the Israelites uh, back in the Old Testament. Basically, it just means a people who live differently than the world culture. They live God's way. In fact, in 1 Peter 1.16, it says, You must be holy because I am holy. So we see that holiness is meant to be an identifying trait for God's people. And because we are identified as God's people by living God's way, we stand out from the culture around us, which in turn shows people a picture of, of what's God, what God is like through the way we live our lives. Showing the goodness of God to others by how we live makes others curious and ask questions and they want to know this God because our lives are just meant to be so attractive by the way we live and the way we love people. So why is it important for us to be intentional about the purpose of the church. Well, unfortunately, it's because we were born with a sinful nature. And showing others the goodness of God, which is the purpose of the church, does not come naturally to us. Living our lives God's way 
to show the world around us a picture of him requires that we rely on him. So if we want to be intentional about living out the purpose for the church, we have to be intentional about relying on God every day to help us put on that new nature that we received when we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Let's close in prayer. Lord, I thank you for everything you're doing in each heart today. I thank you for everybody who's watching today. I would just ask, Lord, that you would help each one of us be intentional, intentional, Lord, about allowing you to help us put on our new nature, Lord, so that we can accomplish your purpose, Lord, which is, is to show the world around us the goodness of you, Lord, of your purposes, of your kingdom, of your nature, Lord, so that you would get all the glory and honor. I just thank you for this time we've had, and I just bless each one today who is listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.